happening tomorrow. Officials in Orange County are looking to find more solutions when it comes to affordable housing. It comes at a time when many are struggling to find a cheap place to live. News 6 says Treasure Roberts is here with more on the plan to listen to tenants and landlords. Senator Bracey says he wants to get both sides at this roundtable discussion in hopes that landlords and tenants can find common ground. The struggle continues for renters trying to stay afloat amid the housing crisis. Prices are going up and they can't afford it and they're going to be put out there homes and don't have a place to stay. I mean, the situation is pretty dire. Florida Senator Randolph Bracey, who's running for Congress, will host a roundtable discussion Friday with local landlords and renters. Because I think both sides weigh in on the equation. I think they have an impact on what we're seeing come out of the county. The skyrocketing rental prices pose a problem for tenants in Orange County. But Bracey says landlords and developers also have concerns. I've also heard from developers that they're having trouble paying the higher property tax rates. That's why they're increasing prices. And so I think it's good to have a conversation to understand both sides so we can really come up with some real solutions. This week, the Orange County Commission passed a new rental notice ordinance. It requires landlords to give a 60 day written notice for rent increases exceeding 5%. Bracey says it falls short of directly addressing increasing rents. I think there needs to continue to have conversation uh, with the commissioners because I think there is more to do. And so hopefully those conversations can result in something else other than what was passed. On Thursday, Orange County Commissioner Emily Bonilla held a conference continuing the conversation about a rent control ordinance. Bonilla says the Orange County Commission has agreed on what the ordinance draft will include. They plan to vote on it August 9th following a public hearing. I am sure that the public wants this to happen. Everyone I speak to, I was actually speaking with a, a real estate agent this morning who says it's great what you're doing, keep doing this, and he rents houses. And so the public do want this to happen. They know we need it. News 6 spoke with an economist, though, who says rent control in Orange County could discourage developers from building in the area. Think about this as a developer. If you're going to build apartment units, but you don't have the control to price the units as to what the market will bear, but some agency, governmental body will control what rents you can charge, you simply won't develop the units in Orlando. It seems each side has its issues. Bracey says he hopes the discussion ends with wide ranging solutions that benefit both landlords and tenants. The program starts Friday at 10 in the morning at New Covenant Baptist Church. In Orlando, Treasure Roberts getting results, New 6.